Okay, so now that we've gone over focus and what it is and some of the things that affect it, we're going to talk about autofocus and manual focus, sort of the two ways that you achieve a nice, clean, crisp image. So autofocus is more or less your camera's ability to sense what is in focus and upon pointing it at your subject, it automatically finds that focus. Now there is a little bit of work. You have to slightly hold down your shutter button. You'll typically hear a beep, which some cameras you can turn off on, and it tells you that it's found something to be in focus. And dependent on the camera, there's many different ways that this can be applied or used or even settings that you can choose on how you want to use your autofocus. Typically on most cameras where you'll find the autofocus or manual focus selection is here on the lens. It'll typically say AF and MF and you just select between the two and just like that you are now on automa automatic focus. Some cameras um, also have the selection on the camera itself because they use older style lenses but Typically today you'll find them on the lens here. So once you're in automatic focus, there's a couple of factors that come into where it's automatically gonna focus. Where do you tell it to focus or where does the camera assume you want things to be in focus? So the cameras like this, the Canon 5D Mark III, have 61 points across your frame that are constantly sort of searching and figuring out, you know, is this the thing that's supposed to be in focus? Typically it'll be whatever is closest to you compared to everything else which is farther away. Um, you're also able to go into the menu settings and select manually, oh well I only want to use nine points of focus or I only want you know, this specific box to be the place it focuses on. So whenever I take a photo, whatever's in that one point, that's where it's gonna be in focus. This camera technology is getting advanced every single day. Certain cameras are faster, certain cameras are slower and really it takes a higher end cameras to get the really fast, really sharp autofocusing uh, capabilities. So while cameras like this, DSLRs, you're able to use the autofocus or manual focus function, a lot of the times on point and shoot cameras or even smartphones, the focusing capabilities becomes a little bit simplified. And it's not to say that's always automatic focus, a lot of the times it is, but there's new technologies and face detection or being able to touch on the screen and select where you want things to be in focus. Um, there's also semi-manual auto um, features that you can do on some point and shoots that are actually pretty, pretty fast. And the hardest thing is that it's the computer guessing what you want to be in focus. And at the end of the day, manual focus is really where sort of the creative eye comes into play and really honing in what you want to be in focus. But as of now, these cameras, the technology is pretty incredible what you can do with automatic focus. It's super quick, so if you're at a sports game or if you're trying to catch something on the fly, um, if you can set the settings right, you'll be able to get your picture clean, focused every single time.